Hey guys, I'm Galactic from Galactic's Tutorials, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a partnered background with links for your YouTube channel. Uh, now before I begin, I just want to say thanks for 500 subscribers, guys. Uh, it means a lot to me, and uh, I hope to get more subscribers in the future. So if you want to help me do that, uh, you can subscribe. Uh, right now but um yeah thanks guys I really didn't think I would get this far I know I mentioned this before but really I didn't think this channel would get that popular I just kinda made it because I don't know I felt like I had trouble with um, some other programs and I wanted to help other people out the same way they helped me um but uh, besides that uh, let's begin so the first thing you want to do is open up GIMP and uh, if you don't know how to use GIMP, there's a tutorial right over here. Um, click on it right now if you don't know how to use GIMP. And uh, after that, you could begin this tutorial. Um, so after you know how to use GIMP, uh, you want to download the first link in the description. And you want to open it up in GIMP. Okay, so I opened the template. And what this is, is basically it's what your background is going to look like and what your channel is going to be in the way of. So, um, all this checkerboard stuff is nothing, literally, um, and pretty much the working space that you could work in is, uh, 1920 by, uh, 1080p, so, um, if you're going to upload any backgrounds, it's probably going to have to be that big, so, uh, I'm going to open this layer, and I'm going to open a couple of different icons and backgrounds and show you what it looks like. Alright, so I uh, uploaded some of my uh, icons and a wallpaper and uh, some different text. But as you can see, uh, you can't see the partnered template anymore. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the histogram-layers tab. Uh, if you can't find it, go into Windows and then click histogram-layers. It's pretty simple. Um, but then what you're going to do is scroll down to the bottom or wherever uh, this little icon is right over here. And you're just going to drag it all the way to it, all the way to the top, like this. And um, you know, that's pretty much how you make your uh, background. I'm sorry if it wasn't that descriptive. If you want like a really descriptive tutorial on how to make the actual background part, uh, then you're just going to click over here, and you're just instead of uh, using the template it gives you in that tutorial, you're going to use this template. Uh, but yeah, sorry if I didn't make it very descriptive, guys. I'm mostly focusing on the links for this tutorial. So once you've, you're done with your with your um, uh, template, uh, you're going to delete this. Um, uh, or no, once you're done with your background, you're going to delete the template right over here by just right-clicking it and clicking delete. Um, now, if you want actually wanted to make this bigger, you could by uh, going into image. Uh, canvas size and just increasing the height or whatever uh, I'll do it uh, just give me a sec alright so if you want to increase the height just click on the height and you can type in like 2000 or whatever you want the height to be and then you can click resize and it'll resize it for you and as you can see I kind of already have a background down right over here so um, I would drag this background down and then I would delete this background that I have behind it so I'm just going to delete that one and then you can make it this large and it wouldn't really matter all that much as long as when you save it or you want to save it I'm not going to save mine because I already uh, I don't really like this copy but you're going to save it uh, but when you export it export it export it as a JPEG so JPEG that's how you spell JPEG a lot of people have been asking me about that when you export it uh, you can save it as a hundred uh, percent, but as you can see, when I export it, it might be over uh, one uh, me one megabyte, which is the limit for the website that we're going to be using, uh, which I well, and the actual limit for YouTube. All right, so um, as you can see, it's like three megabytes large, uh, and we don't want that. So uh, if you really want it to be under a megabyte, you can. Just kind of mess around here and export it to like uh, export it as the same thing. 
I'm gonna export to my downloads actually, and uh, you can um, you can click replace, but uh, you can lower the quality, and that will also lower the the um, uh, data size, like the megabytes, and it'll maybe probably under one megabyte, depending on how low you make the quality. I suggest like 75 to like 60 percent, and it doesn't really make the quality of the image go down. It just makes the data go down. So you could do that. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like right now. All right, so as you can see, uh, this one is 482 kilobytes, and it's, and it's also the same quality as this one, which is 2.2 megabytes. So that's the pretty cool thing about um, lowering the quality. But uh, now once you're done with that, we're just going to X out right over here. I'm going to close without saving. You should probably save it as something. And we're just going to close all of this. And then once we're done with that, we're going to go into image maps dot com um, the link is in the description I believe it's the second link then what you're going to do is choose your file on this website and uh, you're going to choose your uh, partnered background that you made not the template uh, the one that you actually just made so I think mine would be over here if I'm not mistaken yes open and uh, it will actually accept any sized image so it just has to be under one megabyte so then click start mapping your image and it should take about 10 seconds and as you can see the quality is very good for something that's like I, I think I made it something like 75 percent so continue to the next step so once you're at this step I'll just make the window a lot larger so you guys can see everything you're going to scroll to the right and uh, you'll come across these tools now one of them is a rectangle tool. I highly suggest using a rectangle tool. I really don't like the custom shapes one because it just makes the whole process a lot more complicated. But uh, what you're going to do is you're just going to uh, drag it so that your uh, custom, your rectangle goes all over your image. And then you're going to uh, copy and paste the links that you want uh, your icon to go to. So like when you click on this icon, this is the link it will take you to. Now this is my Facebook, and you're going to label it Facebook or whatever the heck you are linking your channel to. Again, this can look whatever you want it to look like. It's only limited by your creativity, so make it as cool or as dumb as you want, I suppose. And uh, you can make it link to whatever you want, so do that. Anyways, uh, I'm just going to uh, continue the process right over here, and I'll come back when I'm done. Alright, so uh, once you're done putting all the links over here, you're going to click get your code and uh, you're going to uh, save the output. It's not really necessary, but I just like saving it just for the sake of it. So save it, the images, uh, whatever you want. So I'm going to save it like that. You're going to go into HTML code and you're going to just uh, copy everything and uh, save the, just copy all of that and then go into your YouTube. Uh, and uh, pretty much go into your channel. It's pretty simple. Anyway, so once you're in your YouTube, uh, go into your channel settings. And if you are a partner, which you should be if you're watching this tutorial, you're going to uh, make your channel banner 150. You're going to paste whatever you found in here, like I'm doing right now. You're going to uh, remove your background and uh, upload a new one. Now, I already did this. So uh, I don't have to do that. Um, but you're, after you, up, you uploaded your background, you can either make it scrolling. Well, you actually have to make it scrolling. You cannot make it fixed. That will not work at all. And uh, if you want, you can either make it no repeat or repeat vertically. Repeat vertically actually does work. So as you can see, it kind of looks like this. Um, I know there's a line right over here. I think I made it like 1920 by 1081 or something like that so that's why there's a line right over there but uh, other than that it would look pretty smooth if you have a fluent background right over there but um, after that you're going to click done editing and you're going to test it out now well, there's one problem over here and as you can see the links don't work they're like all the way to the sides so, like my Facebook link would be right over here and then my subscribe link would be like all the way to the left. So in order to fix that, you're just going to go back into Image Map Tools. Yeah, oh wait, no, wrong website. Uh, go into Image Map Tools, uh, back, go back, click OK, 
and then you're just going to uh, kind of troubleshoot over here and just put your links uh, back or wherever wherever they were off centered. So if they're off centered to the right, then you're just going to put them continuously left until you, they're fixed. And uh, I'll come back when I'm done and show you what the product looks like. But yeah, um, I forgot to mention, uh, while you're trouble tr troubleshooting, you don't have to uh, save the HTML output again. You just have to save the code and uh, just continue editing your channel and seeing if it works. Alright guys, so um, I fixed it and now this is going to lead me to my Facebook when I click on it. And uh, if I was on if I wasn't a user that wasn't subscribed to me this when I click on this, it would uh, go to my subscribe button. Uh, if you want to know how to use a subscribe, like make a subscribe button, like the link to it, what you do is you go into um, your annotations. So let me just go into the annotations of this video. Uh, I'm gonna pause this right here. Uh, go on to annotations. Let me just pause this again. Then create an annotation, and uh, go into click check mark the link. Then go into uh, this little tab right over here and click subscribe. Then what you're going to do is type in your username. You're going to save it, publish it, go back into your annotations again, and this link should come up. And then you're just going to copy it. And uh, when you're making your uh, picture you can uh, make that the uh, code for that oh I think I, I messed up but uh yeah it's pretty uh, cool uh, that's how you make your uh, partner background and um, you know if this video helped you guys um, feel free to rate comment or subscribe uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, I will see you next time